Seen from the sky, Durban is barely recognisable. Torrents of mud have flooded this factory, leaving hundreds of containers knocked over on the roads. On the ground, it's a landscape of destruction. Torrential rains have taken everything in their path. Among the hardest hit victims of these deadly floods were Durban's poorest residents. Our situation here is not that great. We're staying with the kids, water came into our houses and our houses were washed away. The water just started putting the lake exploded and the grounds exploded, Amlazi River exploded. It all happened at once. Within 30 minutes the water was shooting up. But we tried to put barriers, barriers it didn't help. The government of KwaZulu-Natal province has put out a public call for aid, urging people to donate food, water and clothes. Authorities said they had set up shelters to accommodate more than 2,000 displaced people. Across the province, operations were underway to find survivors. Currently, unfortunately, most of our work is body recoveries. So from this morning, we have gone to various areas where that have been identified to have uh, that where there are lost persons and we've been searching we've been searching for them we have found a couple unfortunately they have they have passed away the regional governor said more than 40,000 people have been affected whilst many residents have been without power since monday president cyril ramaphosa has declared the region a state of disaster in order to unlock relief funds <laughs> 